Live from NBC4, this is the Channel 4 News at 5. Here's a great story. There is a new rainforest in a place you probably wouldn't expect to find one. The tropical oasis is bringing a local college campus national attention. The finishing touches are being put on this rainforest at California State University Northridge. What makes this 13,000 square foot oasis so impressive? It's kept alive by this a campus's fuel cell power plant. While it may not stop you in your tracks as you walk by, it's pretty impressive, providing nearly 20% of the electricity for the campus in a relatively clean way. CSUN's manager of operations, Ben Elizondo, gave us a tour. It's the largest installation of a fuel cell technology at any university. The byproducts of this power producer, wastewater and carbon dioxide, which the campus puts to good use. Directing it here, CSUN students worked with engineers to design and build both the power plant and rainforest, right down to the selection of 108 species of plants. These plants, uh, which are subtropical rainforest species, are very high on carbon dioxide absorption. And this actually works as a mutual benefit. Uh, we are giving, our fuel cell is basically in a way polluting, and we are providing the means to absorb that pollution and thus not hurting the environment. The eight cooling towers provide an outlet for the wastewater the power plant creates. It actually disperses out into a warm, moist, saturated air environment, simulating a rainforest type of uh, environment where the plants thrive on that. They brought art students into the mix to add a special touch to the towers. I like the snake. A couple of the snake photos and the snake eating the frog. Christopher Brown selected the pictures for the towers, from big cats to small insects, alligators and birds. Each one has a theme. It really brought this, um, the cooling towers up and made it noticeable and made it more uh, likable. It wasn't no dull or gray like it, like it was before. It's actually made it and stand out. The rainforest will be finished next month, but it's already won an award for its sustainable design. Yeah, you see, son, way ahead of the curve there. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. very neat. Gorgeous, very neat. Okay, guys. I got to look down here to see it. <laughs>